Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Q&A recording of the film, The Wall of Shadows, playing as part of the 12th European Union Human Rights Film Days. Uh, I am excited today to be joined by the director of the film, Elisa Kubraska. Hello, Elisa. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thank you for the invitation. And thank you very much uh, for being here with us today. Uh, first of all, I just want to give a little information about Eliza. Uh, she's a director, alphanist, and a traveler. She graduated from the Academy of Fine Arts in Warsaw and watched the film school in Poland. Since uh, 2004, she directed awarded worldwide documentary films, often produced in extreme locations. Uh, since 2008, she's a director of Vertical Vision Film Studio. Uh, is is there anything else you maybe want to add, Elisa? No, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to ask you about how you decided to uh, shoot this film and if you can inform the audience a, a little bit about your film and how were you inspired to shoot such a film, such a documentary? Mm hmm Everything uh, started many years ago during, actually during my own expedition, expedition when I was a climber. And uh, it was in Karakorum, not in Nepal, but I already was uh, focused on uh, on the local people who support expedition. That time in Pakistan, there are Balti people. And uh, it was the first moment when I got an idea that uh, actually these are the stories which are missing, that uh, there are a lot of stories about the climbers, you know, Alpinis, a great achievements of these foreigners, but uh, actually without support of locals, uh, almost no on the expeditions uh, could, on, on the expedition could, could ever succeed. So it was the first moment when I got the idea that this is the time to turn the camera on the opposite side and to show uh, the perspective of, uh, of supporters for the expedition. And then I thought that I should do it, not in Karakorum, but I shoot it in Himalayas in Nepal. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really great story. And it, I think uh, it shows uh, to respect to, to audience that how should be respecting nature maybe and how should uh, we have a relationship with nature so uh, I also wanted to ask you like it's um it asked important questions uh, I I read that it was a uh, whether scaling a mountain is the same as respecting it uh it is the same as respecting it I just wanted to ask you from that point of view whether respecting it is same as uh, climbing a mountain. What do you think about that? Because also the documentary shows that too. Uh, you mean you are, uh, because I'm not sure if I understand correctly, yeah. you ask if the respect for the mountain is the same as scaling as of... Yeah, yeah, exactly. As the willing of climbing the mountain or okay. do you think is there a difference? How How is the relationship with nature is evolved between two groups? We In the documentary, we see uh, people who live there and uh, they have an enormous respect for the mountain and they do not prefer to climb, climb it. Uh, but we also see Western climbers there and they wish to go on the top and they wish to just uh, explore that mountain. So we see a different two point of view so i just wanted to talk to you about that of course uh, it's complete completely not equal and uh, that's why i wanted to make this film yeah uh, because of course for us i'm i'm part of this uh, foreigners group actually i'm not a local i'm not sherpa yeah. people so my my attempt to make a film from their perspective wasn't easy uh, because still I was watching everything through my own eyes. Uh, but yes, of course, uh, we, I'm talking about the people from the, uh, from the Western, you know, countries, from the, um, from the well-developed develop countries. Uh, of course, we, we think we respect nature. Sometimes we think about it because we know that the nature is in the danger. Uh, but in reality, our our uh, point of view is completely different. And 
you, when you watch uh, expeditions, when you watch expedition members, you can feel it. Yeah. That very, very, very important is the ego, ego issue. Uh, watching the mountain as something you can conquer. Yeah. Uh, so, of course, it's completely different. And uh, I was the same. <laughs> I was the same. And uh, in my, one moment, I, I really started to feel that actually it's a privilege for me that I just can be in this place just to be there and just to see this beauty of the nature. And I learned a lot from the locals. So, yeah, yeah. I think it also gives the message that to be able to enjoy something and to be able to appreciate something, you don't have to always maybe conquer it, where you don't have to be always on the top of it, maybe. It's also one of the messages I think the documentary gives. And uh, I, as a as I, I'm also curious about your personal experience. I mean, you met with people who live there and you met uh, also um, so see experience their traditions and experience their point of view too. So do you think it's in a way changed your perspective or changed you as a person? As I said, of course. Yeah. And um, being a documentary um, filmmaker, a director, Mm. which means that I spent working on these films a few years. It's not like I, I have an idea and then I make a film fast and it's finished and I go to other story. No, of course, it completely influenced my life. And later, it's uh, it's difficult, but I also don't want to forget about this part of the world. About I don't want to forget about these people. So there, there is kind of a bond relationship between us. And uh, to the point, for example, I work on another documentary now, which is also set in, uh, in Nepal and in India. It's not a story about the locals. It's a story about Polish female climber, actually. But uh, I work with the people which I met during uh, shooting Wall of Shadows. And one of our assistant camera is our main protagonist, the boy. Mm. Dava, who today is, I mean, he's adult, he's a teenager, he's 19 years old, and now he works with me, because I thought, well, you know already how it is to be on the other side of the camera, we need support, let's come, go with us, Great. and you can earn some money, you know, so this is the, the this is continue, con it's continue, it's, it didn't finish, and I, I like it. Great, great. It's an experience. You're still you're still in this experience with the people you met there. It's great, actually. And also, uh, what was a really uh, what what really made me a little bit unhappy about that? Uh, the the villagers li live there. They believe, like I said, they don't want to uh, climb the mountain. They believe it's God's home and they respect it in a different way than uh, the Westerners out there. And but to earn money, to be able to earn money to uh, give education that uh, their child deserves they uh, agree to show them the way to climb the mountain in a way uh, I think uh, they are disappointed that they have to break that rule break not climbing that rule but there is a reality a economical reality out there that they still have to uh, in a way um, pursue if they want the kind of life they want for their child so there is there is another reality out there uh, when i watched the documentary so i also wanted to uh, know your thoughts about the situation too i mean i wanted to ask you that in a human rights point of view what a kind of uh what kind of human rights violations or maybe human rights realities you were trying to show the audience yeah, this is also this is always very important to me. So one, I I always focus on the nature because the places I visited as a climber before were yeah. so beautiful. I wanted to share it, but most of the time I'm focusing on people's stories and about these differences between the people from different parts of of the world. And actually, as I said, we are uh, we are in a privileged group uh, where. Most of us, I'm talking again about the Western countries, the education is possible yeah. to give to your kids. And we know that 
probably only education can change uh, uh, everyday life of the people from very remote areas. And Sherpa people, they also discover it already. So they are really ready to fight for it, to give the education at least to one of the child. So this child can change the whole situation of the of the whole family. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I think uh, during, uh, I mean, during my documentary, of course, I also have this kind of small mission to talk about it, that, uh, that this is very important, that the education is so important. Uh, as much as possible, uh, we should support people to yeah. be educated. Uh, equal the men and and the women, of course. Yeah, every child should have a right to education. I think yeah. the commentary shows it uh, in a really touching way, by the way. Uh, and I think it shows that, uh, li like you said, uh, everyone should be equal, man and woman, all the children. But uh, we live in a reality that that is not uh, how is it how it is going on. So I think yeah. these documentaries are really, really important for reminding us that us that um, the real the reality maybe should change in a good way. So uh, thank you for being here with us today and sharing your thoughts uh, about your beautiful documentary. And also I, I want to add that there are very beautiful sceneries out uh, in the documentary, beautiful, beautiful mountains and environments. So I hope the audience will see and feel nature uh, in another dimension uh, when they watch your documentary. So thank you for here be being with us today. Thank you. I just want to add that of uh, course. Uh, what changed in the in the life of our family, which we oh. which we show in the in the yeah. film, is that uh, we managed, thanks to this documentary, we managed to collect money for the education of the boy. <gasps> Great. So, so really, this uh, and it makes me really happy that it's not only a documentary anymore. It really changed someone's life. Yeah. And I think this is the big uh, advantage. So I'm proud of it. It's not only my job. It was many people working on that. Uh, yeah, but uh, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, thank you for adding this uh, this information. I think it's great. It's great that it's such a documentary that changed a, a child's life indefinitely. So yeah, thank you for sharing this with us. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.